Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at percentage increase word problems. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so having a look at the first question, what we've got here is uh, Sarah's savings account had $200 in it and she deposited an additional $50. What percentage increase was that? Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we just have to figure out uh, what percentage 50 is out of 200. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually put 50 out of 200 and we're going to multiply it by 100 to actually convert that into a percentage. Now, looking at uh, this particular question here, you don't actually need to use the calculator because we can actually get rid of the two zeros there. And then what we've got here is 50 divided by 2, which equals 225. So for question one, what we're noticing is that there is a 25% increase uh, from the original amount. Now, to do this in the calculator, of course, we're simply going to go 50 divided by 200. And as you can see, that's going to give us uh, a quarter. And then if we multiply that by 100, that's going to give us 25%. Now, with question two, what's happening as the plant grew from 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters in height, what percentage increase did it experience? Okay, so there's two ways uh, to do this. What the first thing what we can do is we could actually figure out how much uh, difference has it gone up by and then work that out of the total um, the original percentage. So if you look at it in this case, it actually grew by uh, plus 10 centimeters. So if we were to do 10 out of 20 and then we multiply it by 100, what we're going to get in this case is we're going to get 10 times. 10 uh, over two, okay it's 102 so sorry just kind of doing that and then we're going to cancel the two with that that makes it five and we're going to end up with 50 percent increase so again if you want to do this in the calculator what you could do is uh, you could go 10 out of 20 and we multiply it with 100 of course i put the 100 in the wrong space that's always a bit chaotic but let's try it again all right, so there we go. That shows me that there's a 50% increase. Now, there is another way to do this types of questions. What you can do is you can actually take the new um, increased, uh, the new number that's been with the percentage increase, and you divide it by the original amount. Now, in this case, the original amount is actually 20 centimeters. When we do this, we get a fraction, which we're going to approximate it to be 1.5. Now, I know in the previous videos in this particular video series, we've talked about increasing by percentage and multiplying a particular coefficient. Now, look at if you look at this one, this is saying that it's actually increased by 1.5. Now, 1.5 is the same thing as saying 150%. And if it's 150%, that means it's got the original 100% plus the 50 percent now the 50 percent is what it's actually increased by so that 10 centimeters increase that's the 50 centimeters uh 50 percent out of the 20 centimeters so this is a shortcut way of doing um to find out what percentage increase um, has actually happened so if you look at question three here now we've got 80 dollars and uh, it's increased by 100 dollars so I'm going to use the calculator method first. And when I do that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go 100 divided by 80. And when I do 100 divided by 80, what I'm ending up with is a 1.25 increase. Now, 1.25 is the same thing as saying 125%. And as you can see, we've already got the 100% plus there's an increase of 25%. Now, we need to prove that with the numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 100, take away 80. So 100 take away 80, that's how much money, uh, how much the bill has increased by. So it's $20. So if you look at it like this, it's $20 out of the $80. And if we convert this to a percentage, so if we go 20 divided by 80, and what we're going to do is multiply it. We're going to go multiply by 100. Then what's happening here is you're actually getting 25% increase. So as you can see, you can kind of do either method that you want to, uh, whether you do it the, um, the little coefficient method or you find the difference and actually work out what it is from the original amount. Either way you do it, you're going to get the same answer. And finally, the last question here, we've got uh, 15 degrees to 25 degrees. 
So again, using the calculator method, I'm just going to go 25 divided by 15. And when I do this, I get 5 over 3. And if I do it like this, I'm going to get up to 1.667 well, recurring decimals. So then that means we're looking at a 166.7% increase. And of course, that could be written as 100% plus 66%. 0.7%. So we can actually say that's increased by 66.7%. But let's have a look at the old method. The old method, what we're going to do is we're going to go 25 minus 15, which equals to 10 degrees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 out of 50, de 10 degrees out of 15, and convert that into a percentage. So if we do 10 divided by 15, and what are we going to get here? multiply that with 100 and as you can see folks we're getting oh whoa, 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 i think i did that too fast hang on let's try that again so we're going to go 10 out of 10 over 15 multiplied by 100 so i've got 10 over 15 and i'm going to do multiplied by 100 and when i do this let's just put this through 66 so we're getting 66.67 percent increase so folks, as you can see, there's a couple of ways of doing these types of questions. And um, and, I, and I think you'd find that the more you do the, the method that I did on the right hand side, it'll help you definitely with when it comes to percentage decrease and trying to find uh, the like what percentage it's actually decreased by. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision and as always, thank you for watching.